walked in here with a little pep in my step today because I don't often get to chat with people that I've never talked to before who are incredibly successful, incredibly fascinating, and a force of change in their own community. Mm -hmm. That is something that I get excited about because I do fancy myself a conversationalist. I like genuine conversation. I don't go into conversations with, you know, written down questions because if I hear an answer that I'd like to expand upon, it's like, oh, fuck, I'd like to learn about this person. This is a person I'd love to learn about. And I'm very thankful he's joining us. You've seen him in commercials in the mainstream world, but what you probably didn't know if you're an old and a white and not in the gaming community is this dude's worth like 700 fucking billion dollars yeah. being the best and most entertaining video gamer on earth. Now, we have been privy to being introduced to a man named Dr. Disrespect. That's right, of course. And I have no idea if this person has a beef with that person because I do not know the gaming community well enough, but I do know that these video gamers, not only are they fucking entertaining as hell, not only are they incredibly smart, business-wise, these are some of the best motherfuckers going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of those, the guy, Ninja. Yeah! <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey. Uh, and to answer your question quick about Doc or your, your suspicion, uh, I, I freaking love him, man. Uh, How I've could you a, not? A, dude, I've been a fan of him for, for for years. And I mean, I got some I got some intel on him, too. Whoa. Just like a lot of people don't know. Not like bad intel. Like um, Snyder stuff. And nah, he's been. A, no, 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 <laughs> no, man. My guy. He's, he's been, been intel. around for ever. <laughs> like he's been around for like 15 years. I've been streaming for like 11 years now. And I, you guys all know Doc, he's a character, right? He, he pretends to be, you know, I mean, well, he's real. I love him. Let's just, you know, let's stick with that. He, <laughs> Watch what you're saying. He's, been, real he's been doing this stuff, like, on YouTube, like, 15 years ago, back in the Call of Duty days. He, like, he created the character Dr. Disrespect. And he's been in, like, my, and he, he wasn't ready for the streaming world at the time, right? So when I was starting off streaming on Justin TV, playing Halo and stuff, he would pop in and be like, baby ninja. Just always know the doc is watching. <laughs> and, then would, and then would like quote himself, you know, Dr. Disrespect, which is just hilarious. And then, you know, fast forward like five years after that, he finally decided to like bring it to life and actually start streaming as the doc on, on Twitch. Uh, and now obviously he's on YouTube, but, you know, it's, the well, rest is history. We are all incredibly thankful for that. And uh, that's cool to hear, you know, because in the streaming world, video games wise, I know why it is so successful. My brother, his friends all played video games. I grew up watching them play because I was terrible at it. I enjoyed it. Then it felt like this Fortnite game really took it to the next level. You started with Halo, and at what age did you know you were gonna be like a streamer? You knew video games, were, did you just beat the fuck out of everybody since you were a little kid and you're like, oh, I should do this for a living? Yeah, yeah. It started with my dad introduced me to the games and started beating him at everything uh, except for uh, NFL Blitz. He would always like I was too young when we started playing that game and he would just troll the shit out of me and just be like, here comes the blitz. Like every single <laughs> time I'm trying to throw and I'm like, I would like throw the controller down because I have no idea what to do. Um, but yeah, it started that with that. Then I started beating my brothers and I started beating like the locals, everyone else in like my neighborhood. Um, and that's kind of how it starts for a lot of competitive gamers is like they'll start with like the locals. Right. And then eventually they realize, you know, well, now Xbox Live, it, it started doing come out and then I started to play against a bunch of people in the world um, competing starting to like, like you know just try to win how old tournaments, find how a team. old how old when you start like, doing all that I was like 13 14 when I like found out about competing in tournaments um, making money right no no well you can if you want them but back then I wasn't like competing yet I just knew that they existed and then like Got it. but I thought you had to be invited I mean this is like old school stuff right like nowadays there's tournaments everywhere you can play online um, you know, majority majority of the tournaments are online, so it's super easy to, to to play in them. But back then, I was like, I thought you had to be invited. I mean, even to like local tournaments, like at a GameStop, I thought you had to get like a phone call, some in the mail that's like, hey, you want to come play in this tournament? I had no idea that you know you could sign up and <laughs> and like you know you have to qualify. So like that's how like new it was to me at the time. Um, so yeah, I was like 16 when I actually started competing, and then when I started streaming, I was about 17, 18, just graduated from high school. And, uh, you know, there wasn't even a way to make money at the start of it. Um, like, I think a couple months after I started streaming, like they came out with a partnership program uh, on the website, Justin TV, which is now Twitch TV. And I signed up for it and was able to, you know, make money off of ads and subscriptions. Uh, and then I think after like the first two months when I, I, I had that, I made like three grand or I was going to make three grand. That was like my projected revenue showed my mom. And I was like, mom, like this is this is some nice cash like this is like my first month and like no growth like no crazy growth yet and she's like well let me see if it check if it clears first let's see if the check gets in the mail like so, just a classic worried mom and dad um but it came cashed it it went through and i was like this is happening mom 
Um, and I was going to college at the time too. So eventually I was just like, fuck this. Um, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I was like, if I start making great money, I, I made a deal with her. I was like, if I make like, you know, m like double minimum wage, I want to like go full time and drop out of school for a little bit. And she was like, all right, that's, that's fair. But you have to promise me that if you stop making that, that, you know, you go right back. I was like, that's the easiest deal of my life. So. And you yeah. haven't stopped. Yeah, here you are. And then Facebook gave you a seven hundred thousand million. <laughs> yep, <laughs> mixer, and uh, they're no longer with us. So. <laughs> well, that's because they had to pay you. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't handle old Ninja, dude. AJ, go ahead. Ninja, how do you how do you have like the the con competitive stamina? Pat mentions that a lot to stay at the top. You know, I I see young guys like what George Janko was calling you out recently, trying to claim that you're not a great Fortnite player. I don't know if you if you like, <laughs> respond to people like that. But I just want to know, how do you stay at the top and how do you ha continue to have that stamina? Uh, well, you know, I, I didn't hear that. So uh, uh, the comment for oh, that, that other guy, I don't know. You don't need to. Oh, right, right. Good for um, you. Hey, AJ, what's but, your uh, problem, dude? <laughs> no, 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 it's no big deal, dude. I don't care. People no, yeah, no, Ninja, no this is a problem. Life. This is every I'm day. I'm saying when you're the king, everyone's going to take a shot when you're at the top of the mountain, man. That's what you're doing. For sure, man. That's right, um, I think it's just it's just in my bones, man. Like competitively, I, I just love it. I, I hate losing, right? I think the, the, that, that competitive mindset, you ask a lot of, you've probably heard this quote from a lot of top uh, NFL players, NBA players, that you have to hate losing more than you like winning. And I hate losing so much. So whenever I'm playing Fortnite, whenever I'm playing any game, anything that I'm doing, uh, especially when it comes to streaming and stuff like that, I'm always just like, all right, well, I'm, I'm always looking to improve and I'm always trying to learn. I mean, even when I die, I was dying today. I was playing, you know, for stream for like two and a half hours before this and I, I Jeez. lost the fight, and I immediately went into replay, and I was like, dude, what, the, what did I do wrong here? Was it my fault? Yeah. Um, and it really was just like there was a Get new better. part of the map. Yeah. That's right. yeah, dude, there's a new part of the map. I didn't really notice, Street like, my, 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 my rocket. It wasn't just <laughs> my, uh, my My rocket didn't hit. Like, I, I, I'm like, oh, this is an easy kill. I didn't realize how wide the play, like the area he was in was, and it was so many places for him to dodge and hide. So, you know, obviously I'm not going to make that mistake again. Never. In that oh, yeah. specific yeah. spot. What we say, but that's, you fool me once, yeah. shame on you. Shame on you. Fool me fool twice, twice, dude. Sh no, shame, shame, on, shame on me. Shame three on times. me. You're never going to fool me. Yeah. 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 Hey, damn right, Ninja. Yeah. I'm never happy to hear you. So you're still getting better. And is it still Fortnite every day that you're streaming? Because you're on every single platform, obviously dominant yeah. everywhere. You have partnerships with big companies. I don't know if you still got them, so I don't want to mention them and piss off any of your other partners. But Love that. Yeah, Love that. yeah, got you. It, it, Bud Light, weren't you with Bud Light there for a bit? I had a Bud Light uh, All-Star event like six years ago. It wasn't like a personal sponsorship with them, but uh, my buddy Tim was sponsored by Bud Light. And, you know, they, they're what? pretty cool. That's pretty cool, you know? What? what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's great to be. I mean, we're not. We have zero. But we have zero beer sponsors, Ninja. Okay, people want to be our sponsors. Is that, I was gonna say, is that by choice? Yeah, we're waiting for Bud Light. What? Right? That's literally what we're waiting for. Until then, we'll just give them free ads. They know that. <laughs> yeah. They're good business yeah. people. Yep. Let's, let's talk about business people. You're a great business person. All the video gamers and the streamers who have kind of set forth this new, like what we're taking advantage of almost as a business, is something that is very, you know next generation thinking, forward thinking, but you have to be a solid business person to be able to navigate the waters. And I think streaming and video games are teaching people at a much younger age about business. I mean, you doing a negotiation with your mother about making double minimum wage or I have to go back to school, like that just showcases a conversation that I would never be able to have. But I think a lot of kids are having nowadays because of the streaming uh, thing. How do you see it going? And what have you learned from this business you think that you hate or that you love? You can either decide to go either way, Ninja. Hmm. Well, I mean, I started off being that way, like negotiating wise was that was just kind of the way I was I was raised. My parents were like not letting me game as much as I wanted to when I was little. And I was like, dude, what am I going to do to play more? Like, because, you know, I, I fucking loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was, you know, start I was negotiating. I was like nine years old. Maybe. I was like, mom, I'll take out the trash more. I'll do the laundry. I'll clean the bathrooms. Like, can I play more than two hours a day, which is what I was like allowed to play. Um, so that started young, but I think in general, from like a business standpoint or that I, I've learned from gaming, first off, my wife, is, you know, who was my manager, who's now just taking a step back, but that's not, um, you know, that's not super relevant, but she, I mean, she helped me out with, kind of with, so, with so much stuff, dude. Like me, I would, I was just a guy gaming. I was in the middle of the stream one day. I was trying to, I was typing up a, a sponsorship email, like request to G fuel. And I was in the middle of my shirt. It did work 10 years later. <laughs> I'm like, I, I was typing out, it was in the middle of my stream. I had like, you know, a couple thousand viewers 
and I'm taking the time and I do Jess comes in, she checks it out. It's got multiple spelling errors and stuff. No. I'm just like, oh, dear, man. you know, I mean, of course it does. I'm like, I'm in the middle of a, you know, freaking kill stream session. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 H1Z1, that's all it that was about. <laughs> high, high kill eliminations. People love watching that stuff. Um, but I think that when you, you just have to be competitive and you have to have a business mindset um, to, to be in the streaming communities. But nowadays, even more so than ever, because there's just everyone and their grandmother wants to stream. And there are grandmothers that stream. I'm not even kidding. It's like a thing. Um, do you fucking that, just snipe them? Is yeah. that the Sorry, grandma. You know, they're you actually per, they're pretty decent. Like the streamers, there's like an, there's like an old guy and an old girl that are, that are I think they're on TikTok and they actually like pop off like they're doing pretty well. And they're actually like like well known. Um, but that's a that's another thing that I tell people about streaming. How do you pop off? How do you you know distinguish yourself from the millions of other people that are streaming? Oh, yeah. Dude, just be be different, man. Like if you're you're if you're a seventy year old gamer and you're actually good at Call of Duty, like there's gonna be even if you're a meme, there's gonna be people who are gonna want to tune in and watch you because you're a seventy year old, you know grandpa shitting on kids. Yeah, like, shitting your pants and yeah. on kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah that's different. Around, you got your, Adult diapers on. <laughs> yeah, a couple depends. You got juice, bro. I enjoy the hell out of your energy. I think that's probably why you have become ninja. Yeah, uh, yeah. How about that? Uh, this yeah. fucking one word that has Prince. been around a long time. The tiger. You hear ninja, you think of one yes. thing. Boom. <laughs> this fucking guy who's a Detroit Lions fan for some reason, and bang, he's incredible at video games. Uh, Ty has a question for you. We'll definitely talk about that in a second. Ninja, when it yes. comes to like beta testing and stuff like that, I assume you're you're playing these games you know, a lot of times like before uh, a lot of other people are, and like the developers are asking you how it is. Is it ever hard to like pull punches? Like like if a new Call of Duty comes out, it's like, hey, this game fucking sucks. Like, I'm not going to play okay. this. And also, like, when it comes to Fortnite, I think we're around the same age. Like, I could just never get into that because it's kind of just, I mean, yeah. it's not Call of Duty or whatever. Like, do you ever get those days where you're just like, this game fucking sucks. I don't want to play this anymore. But you're kind of like, your hands are tied because you're so popular and you're so good at it. Dude, so I'll, I'll touch on the second question first. Uh, I love Fortnite right now. The Chapter 3 is the best, like, era of the game ever since, probably since the beginning of the game. Um, there was Do you a have to time, say though. that? Do you have to say that? No, I don't. I'm not. I, if, if I was paid, I would. I'd have to be like, hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. Um, <laughs> but no, no, no. I, yeah. I, gotcha. I, genuinely have, I genuinely have fun with the game right now. I think it's in a good spot, which is great. Um, but to answer your first question, yeah, I mean, I, I you get access and invited out to events for companies. And sometimes it's paid, sometimes it's not. Um, you know, but if you're allowed to stream the event, it's uh, that's kind of payment in its own because you have unique content that you're yeah people feet, are you know. making money off of it too so you should make money off yeah. it yeah yeah so 100 yeah, percent. yeah you almost yeah, pretty much never do anything for free uh but ever dude yeah. I, I used to ever fucking yeah. never if somebody's <laughs> making money ninja if somebody's making money off of it very nice okay it's cool yeah if, if me, nobody's making money off it get some cool i mean if nobody's yeah. making money off it cool if somebody is i would like we should at oh, least have a so conversation yeah. we should at least have I a conversation love have, i love pie I'd love to have a piece of it. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah so. exactly. If there's no pie, though, hey, we'll just hang out it's, and have a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. All good, all good. Exactly. But if somebody's yeah. going to enjoy this fucking thing, you know, yeah. it's, it's a lot of connections too, right? Like, so yeah, that yeah. thing, if no one's making money and it's like, all right, I weigh, I weigh the, well, I make more money at home streaming or like are the connections that I'm going to make there, you know, invaluable um, is, is the pros and cons, things like that, that I weigh all the time. But I used to, I used to pull punches, right? When I was doing a beta thing, you don't, you don't want to piss off the, developers and at the end of the day man developers are artists um and artists are you know they love their art they're a you know when they create something whether it's you know the graphics of a game or they're the ones who came up with an idea of the game like it's their their baby right and if you make fun of it or you kind of poke at it and say what's wrong with it like it can be very um you know uh, uh, offensive you're not trying yeah, yeah you're not yeah. trying to be offensive but they can just disrespectful be like, Dude. yeah exactly um so we're, we're dealing with it hey ninja yeah. We just built a new studio, and it feels like everybody in every department of building the studio is an artist as well. Mm -hmm. And whenever yeah. we ask why their art potentially isn't connecting well, <laughs> it is a yeah. full-on, they're disrespected yeah. out of nowhere. And it's like, I just would like to yeah. get the best outcome yeah. here. Yeah, it's tough sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's tough. Got to yeah. have great communication, dude. Um, but nowadays, truly, I mean, I'm 31 years old and streaming for uh, 11 years. I don't really give a shit. Um, especially when it comes to the game like that I might want to stream, right? And I, I think you might have asked that question because of the, the Warzone 2 event or whatever that went on, the Modern Warfare 2 event. I mean, we gave them, I mean, me and all the guys, we gave them a lot of feedback, a lot. And I actually I actually got kind of like roasted a little bit by one of the, by one of the I don't think he's a developer, but I think he works for the company. 
I think he was saying that I was I was loud at dinner. And it's like, well, yeah, because I was trying to tell you guys that there's a part of your game that fucking sucks. Like, oh. and, 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 and I wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure I got my point across like several times. Um, and there's sometimes where, you, you know, I just I just don't sugarcoat it hey, anymore. For the good of the game, rude, Ninja. Yep. For the good of the game. For the good of the game. You're allowed at dinner. I don't need. So what? Guy the at the end of the fucking table. Get out of here. Bro. Yeah. We're talking about developers. The, exactly. Yeah. Help. That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, ahead, but they have a speaking of Warzone too though they have a good, it's decent. It's, okay, it's it's got it's got potential, man. But uh, Ooh. we'll see. Oh, so is that <laughs> a thing? Is that a thing? Call of Duty versus Fortnite, people? You you kind of buried uh, it in your question. Yeah, I love I love both. I, I mean, for me, Warzone right now is just not like peaking my interest. It's very like sweaty and it's you know Ooh, yeah. yuck. Kind of a bad game. It's all it's old. It's like old new. It, it's not. It's the one thing that's issue with COD is they keep switching out games every year, even when they have an absolute banger. That's like what we've last been saying. Warzone. That's what we've been saying. Come on, man. Just like, just, just kind of update, just update the game, continue, continue to push out updates. Exactly. The game was absolutely phenomenal. The map that was out recently was great. But now it's like, is it Caldera? Is that what they're playing now? I have no idea. Ninja, I'm going to take everything you just said as my own at some point when I get into a conversation <laughs> yeah. with somebody in the gaming community, and I'm going to sound so smart. Oh, Fortnite guy. For oh, sure, dude, dude. too old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too old yeah, for me. Man. AJ, your question. Go ahead, pal. I, I'm curious, from your perspective, like what makes a game good or what makes a game terrible? Like, what little things do you need? You need to um, kill somebody, this, right? I mean, that has to yeah, happen. Lots yeah. of people. You have to kill somebody. Just kill you. I mean, no, not always. Mo most most of the time, you're killing something, though, right? I mean, like if you're playing like an RPG or you know fighting monsters and shit like that. If you're playing Fortnite, RPG. I think for me, it's the competitiveness, right? The game has to have some sort of competitive value. I want to I want to know that there's like a skill gap. Um, and I think that at the end of the day, you know, a ranking system is what provides a lot of the entertainment for, for a lot of games that are shooters and battle royales, et cetera. Uh, the, usually the games that have a solid ranking system are the ones that like, you know, they perform well and they have a lot of longevity. You know, Apex Legends right now is one of those battle royales that really just popped the fuck off no. after like years after the game came out because they continue to update the ranking system um, and, and they continue to come out with updates and keep the game fun. And I think that that's what that's what I look for when I play a video game. That's I mean, like, like Lizzo. First, that's like Lizzo's song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she released like four years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh and yeah. Then, yeah. Put my hand up. Shame on you. Baby, 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 Lizzo's just chilling at her house, and all of a sudden she's got a song that's worth number one. Now she's changed the entire game, uh -huh. showing up the Lakers games with oh, her cheeks out. That's, that's right. right. Sorry about no that, pain. Ninja. Though I just hey, wanted good, to. Hey, good for her, man. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. Yeah, she don't care. Yeah, let the cheeks fly, dude. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna go to a game. <laughs> What do they want to see? This yeah, ass? I want, yeah. I want a sh I want a show. Yeah. And I'm not just the game that I'm there to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you were going to finish something. I cut you off because I didn't know you were going to finish something. And I had to talk about it. <laughs> no, that's Lizzo. pretty much it, man. I, at the end of the day, that's that's what I look for in a, in a game, though. Like I said, when I started playing Fortnite, like the, to me, the game was like the sound, right? The audio was actually really cool and interesting. Every time you opened up a chest, it was cool. The colors were dope. Like, um, And then, again, the competitiveness of it was attractive to me. You smoke dope? Uh, like dope, dope, like weed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, uh, you just said the colors are nice. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, this guy's high yeah, as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Never, never. I've never done a, an event or I'm incredibly professional, man. Come on. I, yeah, Who I, says I've never that streamed isn't on anything. What? That's professional. I don't think that that's very professional. I have a Snoop Dogg weed story. Snoop's the man. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Ooh. Hey, we're going to link this. Bud Light All-Stars. He was the Bud Light All-Star event. I was a part of his team. Bud Light All-Star event, dude. He was like 35 mi minutes late to the show. Like, there was a hard time. Four o'clock had to be there. This is when we were going live. He's with Corona. In the tournament. Yeah. And he just 35 minutes comes out late, smelling like the most delicious smell you could smell. <laughs> and he's like, I'm, I'm here, baby. Let's fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you know, you don't tell Snoop when to arrive. That's what I learned that day. Oh, especially if you're Bud Light. I mean, he's going to be on a beach with Bob Bunny. Yeah. He's going to be doing Corona stuff mm -hmm. just a couple mm -hmm. years later. Uh, that's awesome to hear about you. Very professional. I respect that. I have different mm -hmm. views on the entire thing, but nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Connor. Hey, yeah. Ninja, is there still a World Cup of Fortnite and you're going to bring hold gold for America? And also, uh, at what point did you show up to some of these tournaments and they're like, oh, shit, Ninja's here. Everyone get the hell out of here because we're all going to lose. Um, I would say to the World Cup thing, I think they might be doing a zero build tournament recently or soon. I, I don't know. They're, they're kind of in the dark when it comes to those types of tournaments. I won't be bringing home 
the, the gold. Uh, I, I get too competitive. I t- it takes over my life, and I uh, I I just basically cut out all time with with everyone in my life, including my wife, for that matter. Um, I started competing in Valorant a couple years ago, and I mean, you I got was money streaming. Now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to be I, a I human. Prefer, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much exactly what it is. I would stream eight hours, and then I would get off stream after streaming eight hours, and then I would practice off stream because you don't want to play your you know your your yeah. strats to the world. And then I would practice for eight hours off stream. So 16 hours. This is literally my entire day. And then, you know, so, so yeah, no, no competing. Um, Smart. And hey, look at you saving it? you from you. Look, ninja saving ninja yeah. from ninja. 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 Look at you. Oh, you're a good yeah, guy. Man. And I believe the you second. I don't know you're on Achilles heel. The second question was, at what age, whenever you started showing up, everybody was scared to death that ninja was here? At what age was the buzz? When did you start to pop off? Uh, right. Love it. Uh, I think yeah, I for for Halo, it was just any local. I pretty much took out any local that I went to. I would get at least top yes. two um, or, or first place and take it down. So I was like 18, 19 when I started like just kind of shitting on everyone on locals and taking those tournaments down. But that was like 500 Hell bucks yeah. here, 1,000 bucks there. Hell yeah. uh, competitively, like professionally, like in the MLG world, I was never on a team at a high level where we were taking first place consistently, where it was like, ah, shit, we're going up against the Ninja's team. Um, I was placing top four, top six, like top eight a lot. And I've been kind of had, I've, I've had this like monkey on my shoulder for a really long time because even though I was, I'm like, dude, I'm one of the most competitive people that I know. And I'm also fucking amazing at video games. <laughs> I, I was like labeled as humble. a streamer and humble. That's the number one thing. You gotta say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I prefer confident, and, yeah. but respect. Yeah. I, I was always kind of labeled and never really given a lot of chances because I was, more, people saw me as like a streamer more than a competitive gamer. And that's actually happening, been happening to me my entire life. But you know, even regardless of that, I was still winning you know, H1Z1 tournaments, PUBG tournaments, Fortnite what? tournaments. What? 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 You know? Hell yeah, absolutely love that. Regardless. That, that happens in all fields, I think, by the way. There's a guy who does um, like craft work, building work, where he works with like wood and shit. And he gets categorized in his community as a streamer, not a real guy in the wood. Like, it happens, I think, in every single aspect. I think you should just not give a fuck. But <laughs> I don't anymore. neither here nor there. I mean, neither here <laughs> right. I think the ninja name is huge. It is fascinating, though. Do you feel like a younger generation of guys and girls yes. that are just much better than you were at that age and you know that they're going to go and carry on and kill everything? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I've, I have a huge theory about that, about just, you know, the Love generational game. Yeah, listen, man. Back in the day, right, you're, so I'm what? I'm 31 years old now. Crazy. But I'm also still, it's my job. I'm playing video games every day, right? For eight hours a day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good at video games like my entire life, more than likely. But back in the day, there are a lot of people when I was competing in Halo where like you hit 20, 21 years old and you just, your skill just starts to fall off. But at that same time, the reason it's falling off is because people didn't think that it was like a full-time job and they couldn't play MLG, you know, and compete in MLG forever, right? So they had to go and go back, they had to go to college or they had to get a job outside of, you know, competing. And that just cuts into your time gaming. And that doesn't happen as much anymore, I feel like, because now there are people who are, you know, my age and younger who are gonna be gaming Forever. For a long time, forever, if you will, right. And and they're just gonna be good as long as they can put the time in and put the effort in. So is video you know? games a timing thing? Because I suck. Dude, I absolutely suck. I am so I think you gotta bad. I think you gotta start a little young because like I mean the mouse and keyboard if you're playing on computer is like PC, that takes yeah. Of course, yeah. it, ta- it takes a you know a lot. And then even if you're on a controller, yeah, I'm fine. Right? I think that there, there's a you ones. know you gotta you gotta teach them young, man. I'm, I'm putting a controller. If Jess and I have kids, if my wife and I have kids, I'm putting a controller in that kid's hand, guy or girl, age, like out the womb. You know what I mean? <laughs> Xbox <laughs> controller on the lap. So you're right an Xbox away. guy over everything else, or are you PC with Xbox controller? I'm PC diehard still. I do have an Xbox controller when I play cer- certain games. It's right here. Um, but I, I was, you know, born and raised That's Xbox, cool. Xbox 360, Halo 2, and Halo 3. Some great video games. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Darius has a question for you, Ninja. I want to ask, yeah. as, as a hardcore competitive gamer, uh, one of the big things that I know helped make Fortnite uh, more popular was like the dances, you know, the gritty coming over and the backpack and all those different things. How do you feel about that? Is that like Mickey Mouse to you or yes. you, uh, you like that type of shit? I, lo- I love that type of shit, man. Uh, like, unfortunately, right now, half the songs that they add to the game are like copyright. And as a streamer, I can't even do them. Otherwise, I risk, you know, my videos being taken yeah. down and shit like that. But uh, I, I think that, dude, culturally, I think it's incredible. It's incredible for kids to to be able to, you know, 
maybe maybe learn something, right? Maybe they like do some research on where the dance came from, because now anything that's created uh, and brought in from outside, you know, people, right? Like athletes yeah. or whatever, it's it, it's a part of like an icon series. So they, I think they actually start to they're starting to give credit now to the people who are you know creating the dances and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and also I think John um, Cena's in there, isn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah, John Cena's, John Cena's in there. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, have Mahomes, the homies? I got it all. Do you just snipe everybody? Like, so you just oh, go it's fun. all day. You just are killing people and telling them, "Oh, I just fucking killed you. I just shot you right in the fucking head." Oh, is that what all day is for you? I'm I'm sorry, I don't know enough about the world, but no. that's Dude, the day yeah. right there. I'm coming in Pretty out of much. a helicopter, right? You fly in, oh yeah, uh -huh. dropping in, yeah, yeah and then you're coming in, uh -huh. and then it's just and you just shit on everyone, man. Yeah, laying scum. Yes, uh -huh. you suck, <laughs> kid. Body yep. bag, thirteen year old <laughs> body dead. bag. Oh yeah, new. Dead, dead, I'm dead. not even kidding. That's literally what I did all day today. I was just landing and shitting on people. And like, you know, you, 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 you I know you jokingly mentioned like stream snipers and stuff like that. But like, you, you know, like sometimes you'll see the same name in your game several times, uh, and it, and it's really suspicious. But and then when you when you kill all those guys, that's the fucking best. Man. You know, you, you you just dump on them, and I, I'm just talking shit. They might be 13 years old. I don't really give a shit. You that know, ain't for you to find it, out. It, let the bodies hit the problem. floor, dude. Yeah. yeah. The last question all for the, you. Know? Let the last question for you here. Go ahead, Tone. Speaking of seeing the same gamer tag all the time, have you ever seen uh, <laughs> K1 ARZ QB every Saturday night at like 3:30 a.m. and be like, "Hey, man, you got a game tomorrow? Like, maybe I know it's a double XP weekend, but maybe you should get off and like look at the playbook a little bit before you go to the Packers tomorrow." Are you thinking about helping the Arizona Cardinals <laughs> mm -hmm. with their potential gaming issue at quarterback? Is what Tone Dig uh, Digs went asked there. I would absolutely love to to just give him some advice on on just put it away, man. Like it's game time, bro. What are you doing? Like you're a professional athlete, man. You have a multi million dollar contract. One Holy of the best shit. quarterbacks could be one of the best quarterbacks in the league. What are you fucking around for? <laughs> playing, playing Warzone, like all you know what I mean? Are you on like, a team? Are you on the face the base clan? Are not you on face clan? No, I'm not a part of any of that stuff. Why not? You're just a fucking lone wolf. Ow! Oh, you're yeah, solo dolo out there. <laughs> just to be clear, we're talking about Kyler Murray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Kyler, man, I don't know. I'd love to have a conversation with him and just be like, I mean, but at the end of the day, man, he's a grown man, right? He's old enough now to know that, like, yeah, I mean, you, I'm assuming you guys have seen all the crazy videos, right? There's like legitimate statistics of him when a new update comes out or when a new oh, game yeah. comes out. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, come on, man. It felt cool to actually dive into your world. I don't cover video games much because I stink at them. Never played growing up. I fucking suck. So, like, it's all I, right, dude. I, I have known you. of you. I have only known of you as the incredible businessman in the streaming community. So getting to chat about the video games here has been fun. So you're not a part. Of, let's get back to it. You're not part yeah. of any of the teams. Who else? There's a Chicago Huntsman. Chicago, the Huntsman. The Huntsman. Uh -huh. There's the yeah. Phase Club. Optic. There's a Pittsburgh team, I think. Forty Thieves. Uh -huh. Forty Thieves. Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves. Hundred Thieves. What? Did, you said no to all. You're a free agent right now, or you never been a part of a squad? Yeah. What's the deal? Uh, well, I don't want to. It's in my opinion, it's too late to start my own. Uh, which I and even if I wanted to, I don't think I'd do it. It's not for me. It's like that's like too businessy. You know what I mean? Like I don't uh -huh. want to sit here and manage other players. Like and and and. At a high level, I'd rather, I'd rather just kind of sit back on the sidelines and watch for the majority of the time. And I think it's cool, like a lot of the culture that people create. Like you know, you I, I really do feel like everyone who's on a hundred thieves, I feel like they're a family, right? You can see them all, like you know, they always tagging each other and hanging Ninja out. And they're hundred going, thieves, hundred thieves, maybe, dude. <laughs> but there's also, there's that also complexity, right? Tim and Tatman, Cloaksy, a lot of cool guys over there. That, oh, you know, so I think I do like that team. What's their team name? Yeah. Complexity. Com complexity is the organization. Are you yeah. like so Odell Beckham Jr. right now? Are you doing tours and recruiting visits and stuff no, like no, that? No, no. Flash in the ring. No, no, but I did actually get a complexity tour recently. But uh, they are, they're part of the Dallas, man. They're based out in Dallas. So you, do, you, do you live in Dallas? Dude, perfect. No, no, no. It's like uh, two hours away. It's a two-hour flight. Nice and quick. Tim always tries to get me to go to a couple of the games every year, or for the, at least this year. And the Lions in Dallas, they play next week, but I'm going to be in Vegas yeah. for a, a, a concert. So. Oh, no big deal. Who is it? Anyways? Oh, thank God. No, it's a it's a the when when we were young tour festival. Oh. It's like dude, there's like forty of the top most emo bands on the planet all playing. It's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> You're gonna have a great week. I'm missing the Lions Cowboys because of it. I respect. And I'll be watching. I'll be watching Lions Cowboys on Sunday. I'm, it's a I think it's a Friday Saturday thing. I'm only gonna go. We're only going Friday Saturday. I'm gonna get hammered in Vegas and watch this. Lions beat up Dallas. They got that big pool sports book. Uh, yeah. Circa. Circa, yeah. Circa gonna be looks like great. Absolutely time. amazing. So you're going to complexity? Is that the rumors in the no, uh, no, no, video no, no, game no. world? No, no. no rumors. No rumors. Oh. no rumors. Our sources are telling us you took a recruiting visit to Complexity. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Mm. Oh, that's crazy, man. I don't know. 
<laughs> I mean, I technically did go there and get a tour, but oh, that was recruiting. That what are you doing? You're just going to take pictures. White, white. Hey, Tim the Tap Man here. White. Oh, that's a he nice. He was wall. actually hosting white. an event there, though. He was hosting a Tim the Tap Man tailgate where he had a bunch of his subscribers and people could fly out. It was a whole event. He had uh, Kane Brown perform there. It was a whole awesome. thing, man. Tim Tapman, Inside big brain. Tim Tapman, big brain. That is awesome. So, yes, sir. is this a story in the video game world that I should have done more research to? That you joining one of these teams? Nah, because I'm not on one of the teams, so there's nothing to. There's no story here yet. You know? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh, we heard it, didn't we? Yeah. Uh -huh. Dude, I have a, I have a couple questions for you guys, man. Um, because I love to I love to hear your thoughts on uh on the upcoming Dallas Lions game. Number one, Cooper Rush or Dak Prescott. Who you great, got? Ninja, great question. You should fucking move into the sports media world. Yes, that's, that's a good right. one, dude. Think about the conversation that that would start right yeah. there, that conversation. <laughs> uh, here's, the, here's the deal, Ninja, and I don't know if you've been following along enough. We take some vitamins and go on air, unlike what you do. We are unprofessional, <laughs> and we hypothesize about all the situations. Here's what took place. When Dak Prescott was the quarterback, they were relying on his arm because he's so goddamn good. They were slinging it, yep. slinging it, slinging it, slinging it. For the last couple of years, Jerry Jones, who just told Robert Kraft, don't don't fuck with me, Bob, at the league owners meeting, would come out after games for the Dallas Cowboys and say, we got to run the ball with Zeke. So they get a backup quarterback in there and Cooper Cush, who's an absolute stallion, they start running the ball more. Their offense changes. Now that Dak's coming back after Cooper Cush threw three interceptions last week, yep. magically he gets cleared. Now he's back with the new offense. They're going to be very fucking good. Bad news for the Lions, I believe. AJ, your thoughts? Are you in the same place as me or do you think the Lions are able to handle it? No, I think it's a pretty similar place. I know you have what the Lions offense is putting up a ton of points, but the defense uh, is giving up a ton of points. But we'll see how they do against that Dallas, uh, that Dallas D. See if Jared Goff can find a way to not throw three picks. We, we love right. MCDC, yeah, though, we love Ninja. Yeah. We love Motor City Dan Campbell. Goff's played well this Dude. year, though, man. You should be happy. Yeah, Ninja. be pumped. Listen, man, I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly happy, but I think that I just I have this cloud over my head, man, especially when like you, you start to see the culture change, right? Dan Campbell's an absolute stud, right? You can you can see the passion in a lot of the players' eyes. Jamal Williams is an incredible freaking, you know, incredible leader of the team. Good love speaker. Him. Uh -huh. Good speaker. Love, absolutely love him. Dan right. And, and we, we, we pop off. We play against the Eagles, only lose by three. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Goff throws a pick six, pretty much yeah. the reason we lose the game. Ooh. Oh. And oh, and then we you know we, we and do number one offense right number one scoring offense in the NFL going into the Patriots game get shut out <laughs> yeah it's like yeah. So just like four of our cornerbacks get out by the end of the game we yeah. have people who have never even ran a a, a cornerback freaking play in, in, <laughs> in practice it. nailed it and then we're getting zapped on like I don't zapped on. I don't. Well, you guys went from popping off to zapped on, dude. That's zappy. fucking oh, penthouse to zappy, We made Zappy look like the next Tom Brady, and I didn't like that. Um, His stats say that he might be, though. He was freaking killing it. You guys <laughs> see him play last week, too? He was throwing lasers. Yes. <laughs> He's zapping all over the place. Yeah. He's just oh. zapping all over the place, man. Anyway, so again, I feel like I, I love the Lions, man. And, and I think that, again, at the beginning of this year, I was like, this is it, man. We got Aiden Hutchinson. He's going to freaking destroy Oh, it. oh yeah. yeah. And he's just... I want to see more. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's, 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 he's young guy. I want to see a little bit more, man. Hey, we got a Lions fan in here that we get to hear these exact thoughts yeah, from a lot. Yeah. His name's Foxy. Foxy, anything to say to fellow Lions no, fan, Ninja? Ninja, you're absolutely dialed in. I love your analysis there. And with that being said, I mean, we know how this is going to go. Dak's back finally. Everyone's fired up. He's going to throw for 300 yards and four touchdowns, and the Lions are going to lose. Like, you know that's how it's going to go. Ninja, you're 31. See? It seems like you and Foxy have similar lives as Lions fans. <laughs> yeah, it's just mm -hmm. fucking it, it, one year of disappointment after another. Ooh. I'm going to say that I have not been impressed with Dak. I mean, listen, well, the, the, yes. the, the Cowboys were, the Cowboys were undefeated when Dak wasn't playing. Am I talking right? Dak plays, loses. Here comes Cooper Rush, puts the team on his back. Yes, they start to develop the running game. You're starting to see Zeke kind of look like old Zeke yeah. a little bit, which is great. Okay. But, dude, I've been watching Dak because I've been watching a lot of Dallas games because my best friend, Tim, he's a huge Dallas fan, man. That so I watched, I watched, I watched, listen, dude, Kane Dak was playing. Dak was, I was, uh -huh. this last couple of games last season, bro, right? They were almost like borderline going to make the playoffs. I don't even know if they did. I wasn't paying too much attention after the Lions lost with, you know, a one in 16, <laughs> whatever. Bad, yeah, you guys are bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, Not a playoff quarterback, man. I was looking at Dak. He was making some questionable throws. Ninja, Ninja, hold on. Play, there was a specific player recall, bro. He had all the time in the world, six seconds in the pocket, maybe seven. Perfect, per <laughs> perfect protection, right? No pressure in the world. What do you do? And he literally airs out a ball 30, 40 yards and completely misses. I mean, oh, this guy stinks. Dak stinks. 
this guy stinks. Ten yards over seven. And I'm like, dude. And I look at Tim. I'm sitting next to Tim. We're at the bar. We're getting hammered. I look over uh, him and I go, is that your playoff quarterback? This is your guy? <laughs> Is he gonna miss that? Oh, so, no. dude, am I am I worried about Dak? I mean, he's obviously clear because Cooper threw in three interceptions. Is because guess text? what? The Eagles defense was actually good in stopping them, so he had to make some sort of play. Started to actually forced to throw the ball. Three interceptions. Cooper, you might not be that guy, but I also don't think Dak's that guy. Hey, that's a great take there. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Woo. Hey, you're gonna be in. Well, now, now watch him throw for four hundred. Wow. <laughs> Maybe. That happens yeah. in this world. Listen, whenever you step into the batter's box and you start taking swings it takes, oh, yeah. you're going to fucking strike out. Whenever you stand in the paint, you're going to get dunked on. It oh, happens yeah. to us every single day. Ninja, I assume you understand what that's like in the world that you're in. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time and joining us. I uh, can't wait to see you continue it, to man. grow business-wise, personally, and whenever you join uh, Complexity. That'll mm -hmm. be cool. Pumped. <laughs> sure thing, man. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Is that going to happen? I honestly, man, tru truly, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trolling like 99%. What's your joking. deal? What's your deal? Oh. Sorry, my man. I thought we were Sorry. friends. Damn. You just did an entire Dak stinks at football take. And, you know, I hey, thought man. we were real friends. Do you do stuff for the Lions? They bring you in, right? You work for the Lions a little uh, bit? They, they, yeah, they, br they bring me in for some stuff. Uh, I've, you know, done some, like, some fan meetups and stuff like that before the game. Uh, I always have fun over there, man. Ford Field is, uh, it's beautiful. If you haven't been, you should. It's a fantastic field. All right. So, Dak, here's the deal. A guy who works for the Lions just said, do you stink oh, at football? No. Mm -hmm. just, just something to think about in your comeback with your thumb. I don't think Cooper looks. board material. Uh -huh. I just want to know what this guy did. Good luck with everything, man, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, I appreciate it, Hey, guys. you're the best. Keep killing it. Ninja. Yeah! yeah. Woo. Oh, that's awesome. That great is. take. Great take. Yeah. yeah. Six, seven, seven. Oh, we didn't even talk about his kicker thing. Uh, next time. Hopefully we get to talk to him again. What if Dak goes out there? Does the whole fucking thing every oh, throw? Yeah, yeah, does the, does the whole Fortnite dance. dances? <laughs> Fortnite. Oh, that'd be awesome! Oh, that would be amazing. AJ, did you learn anything in there? Yeah, I learned a lot, man. Yeah, he really opened my eyes to that whole world that he lives in. How'd you know about little uh, shit talk in the uh, video game community? You really? Yeah. I, mean, I do, re I do research. Seems gray. like you were real proud of yourself as soon yeah. as that question yeah. came out of your mouth. I do a lot of research, man. First thing that popped up. How about Ninja going? There's no problem. It's not a problem. It's yeah. like. Well, Ninja, I understand that your world might not be, but in our world it is. Mm -hmm. This guy is a problem.